again and again? Yes. And do you feel boring when I'm asking you this type of question? Yes. <laughs> I once thought that these verbal repetition is very annoying. However, as time went by, I learned that this repetition could simplify many complexity, could strengthen human relationship, and therefore could make life more beautiful. In retrospect, I began my destination toward verbal repetition in my early teens. During high school, I usually stayed late at night for homework. In a typical evening, as usual, my mom asked me, Dear, do you like a cup of tea? No, I'm not thirsty. An hour later, Dear, do you like a cup of coffee? No, I'm not sleepy. <laughs> and I don't want to repeat my answer. A couple of hours later, Dear, it's too late. Do you want a cup of coffee? No, you are stopping me. Leave me alone. She went away, finally. Had I not put myself in her shoes, I could have never understand how she felt. It was on the typical day at school, just after I had sheened my piece of glass. Then, a friend approached me for a biology question. At the time, in my mind, there was a mess of basic formula. And I look at her with a biology question. Huh? She made a great effort to reiterate the question. But I still, huh? What do you mean? She aggressively repeated the question again. I could not make clear. At last, she left angrily, making me realize the consequence of my absent-mindedness. But what could I do? When she approached me with a biology question, but I thought it was something related to physics. Anyway, I had to consider it at my throat to make her repeat the question. From then on, I started to find a way to recover my friendship and my relationship with mother. Given that, I never feel it. She will cut it. On a fateful occasion, when I was on a camping trip with my schoolmates and teacher, I found the one I need. <laughs> After arriving at a camping area, I instantly approached my respected senior teacher. Teacher, it's too hot. I have to wash my face right away. Where's the restroom, please? It's on the right hand side of area number four on the map. Thank you. And I turned around. Then I saw my close friend. We were so exhilarated sharing our expectation for the trip. Ten minutes later, she was gone. And I remember I had something to ask the teacher. So I wrote him again with the same question. Not until I finished my sentence did I realize how silly it was to commit a mistake. To my surprise, he calmly replied, you go ahead and then turn right at the second intersection. I stepped toward the pointed direction, wondering why he gave me two different answers for the same question. At the time, at the right, I saw the words, area number four. He gave me two different answers, two different directions to the same destination. All of a sudden, I found a way to get out of my troubles. My teacher's answer technique has taught me that there is more than one reason for a person to repeat the question except for asking my 
The questioner may misunderstand a sheet for more detail. In such case, a more specific answer will do. That's why a debating questions help to simplify many complexities of methods. How about relationship? Let's imagine you have to deal with a frequently asked minded speaker. If you can change the reply intelligently and coolly and save that speaker from losing face, what we should think about you? Mm -hmm. What a skillful reaction! I like this person! That's how competitive questions can strengthen the relationship with others. Therefore, whenever you deal with such competitive questions, please find another way to answer and speak with respect to that person. Back to my case. That's why the teachers became my most favorite teacher. <laughs> If you can handle such situations successfully, no anxiety will be triggered and the life will be full of tribulation. If I could answer my friends' biology question in a non friendly way, for example, mm -hmm. I'm thinking of applying physics formula to your, uh, to your question. She must not get angry with me. There. A good relationship, a good friendship, dead. A year ago, on a typical night, my mother asked me as usual, Dear, do you like a cup of tea? No, I'm not thirsty. A couple of hours later, Dear, <laughs> do you like a cup of coffee? No, but I'm not sleepy. However, a cup of tea will do. Back to you. Thank you, Dr. Master Yi. Okay, so after her speech, do you like her speech? Yes. yes. <laughs> Did you find her speech interesting? Yes. 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 So no more questions, we like the speech. <laughs> okay, so we move next to our next speaker. So can you hear me? Hello. Hello. So uh, 